In this video, we're going to talk about the course MetaLink enrollment method. This is a method of bringing participants from other courses into a course. So this is very handy if you are, for instance, teaching multiple sections of the same course and your content is going to be the same for all the different sections. You can house the content in one of your courses, bringing all the students there so that you can change the content in one area. So to start this, I'm going to go to participants and currently I have four users, three students and one teacher enrolled in this course. I'm going to enroll other students into this course using this method. So I'm going to go to enrollment methods and you can see here I have four users brought in through manual enrollments. Now in your normal courses, I'm going to switch over to a other course, you will see banner enrollments here. So these are uh, users that were brought in through the banner system, our official uh, system for students and teachers, and that is what you will typically see with this. Now this is a sample course, so I don't have it banner enrollments, but I'm going to add a course MetaLink enrollment method. And this allows me to add an enrollment from any course that I have teacher role. So I can search here if I've got a lot of them. And here are all the ones that just start with dev. So I'm going to select this one. Um, please watch and make sure if you're adding courses that you are adding the correct section and semester to it uh, you can add an older section since we keep 25 months on the server if you have a course uh, from say a year ago and it's the same course number if you add that mist by mistake the students will be brought in uh, from that older section and have access to the current course additionally when we do this it is a best practice to add these students coming in to a group. Even if you're not using groups, I would still recommend doing it at this stage uh, in case later on you want to. And we have a whole section on managing and using groups. Here, if I have a group already created, for instance, this group one, I can add those students directly to that, or I can simply let it create a new group. If you're adding multiple sections uh, of courses to this, do this one at a time and have it create a new group so each of the sections is in its own uh, group to use. So now I have this course meta link with seven users brought in. So if I go back to enrolled users, now I have more students here. Uh, those that were currently in the course are not in a group. Those that were brought in were added to that group that it created. Notice that as the teacher, I have two enrollment methods because I was already in this course and then I was additionally brought in through a meta enrollment. Uh, so won't hurt anything. I just have two of those. So now all of these students would have access to this course and to be able to interact with the content. Uh, we do have a section on managing and using groups. I would recommend uh, watching those to see how you could use those groups for the students that you've brought in. Additionally, as you do meta courses, if you're not going to use the courses that you brought the students in from, remember all courses are turned on the first day of class, it is best practice to go and turn those off after that first morning of classes so the students won't be confused uh, when they come to the a course that they don't think they're registered for. Additionally, I like to put a label here at the top to welcome the students in from all the different sections that I've met linked together so that they know when they hit this page that they're in the right location. 